Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is actually going to be for the 21st of February going to the 6th of March just because I'm a little bit behind. I'm in the process of moving to a different country so there's very limited time in my schedule at the moment but I'm here and I'm actually kind of happy to be back doing tarot readings. Uh, but let's see what's going on for you guys for the week ahead, okay? I'm just going to apologize for the uh, outside noise at the moment because uh, my mic is broken so I'm assuming the phone's going to pick up on everything but let's jump straight into it for you guys. Capricorn, it feels like we're kind of a little bit stuck on which decision to make but let's clarify this and find out what's happening. Yeah, look at this, two of pentacles and the five of cups. All right, we're feeling a little bit stuck and this is kind of causing us to emotionally feel a little bit drained, a little bit stuck here, a little bit negative, I'm not gonna lie. But with a fork in the road, I do see that we are ready to make a big change in our life. Um, Here, turtles could be of significance for you guys too, by the way. And spring is gonna be very important for you this year, by the way, um, because it's showing me something is gonna start working out for you. So this is a good sign. Um, but we might be a little bit stuck in which direction to go and which seed to plant, let's say, uh, in terms of ideas. Um, well, let's clarify this. Let's see what the advice is here. Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is really about not worrying about something. For some of you, I feel like you've had some really kind of bad criticism on something here and that could have really kind of blocked you. Or someone's trying to give you some advice. With the Queen of Swords, could be a Libra in here. But it's only kind of causing, oh my goodness, all right, wait, let's, let's zone this in. It's kind of causing more confusion. Now, for others of you, I'm getting a new message that if you're dealing with somebody here, I kind of feel like they are projecting some worries and fears onto you. Let's move all the cards here so you can see them. Because we have the Nine of Swords right behind the Queen of Swords, which is someone expressing their worries to you, which is good. Um, the Nine of Swords, though, whether this is you or someone else, I always say it's kind of, um, it's, how can I express this? Of course, it represents anxiety, insomnia, you know, sleepless nights, kind of panicking about something that doesn't really need to be worried about, only because this is kind of making a big um, a big deal of something that doesn't need to be made a big deal. Does that make sense? But of course, when we suffer with anxiety or just worries, it happens to the best of us. Um, it just naturally happens where we kind of create scenarios out of nothing um, or about something small, we turn it into something big. The Queen of Swords coming through, though, is someone expressing this to you or you expressing it to someone, and this is causing confusion. It's, it's kind of causing indecision here, feeling a little bit stuck about what to do next or maybe tiptoeing around somebody here, Capricorn, but the Five of Wands as well because you don't want drama. You don't want arguments, you know, but I feel like with the Queen of Swords, we're going to need to express our truth in something here because... If you're the one upset about something, you should not worry about. <laughs> I mean, with the Nine of Swords, I feel like it's important to come across with logic only, with facts and truths, rather than um, creating these scenarios. Or, you know, uh, I feel like it's important to express something here if that is you. Because someone's feeling a bit stuck about this. Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles again. The King of Cups, ooh, dear. And the Five of Wands is back here again. This kind of feels a bit like a conflict, confrontation. I was going to call you Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is the Scorpio card or another water sign or air. It doesn't matter here. It kind of feels like you're in a little bit of a limbo with how to deal with somebody or, or they're wondering how to deal with you. Or maybe you're both reciprocating and mirroring the same energy. This person's a little bit worried though. Now, this King of Cups does represent someone who is balancing their emotions here um someone who's a little bit worried so you're both mirroring each other actually you're both worried let's see what's going on here i feel like you're trying to find a middle ground yeah two of pentacles and two of wands so there is a decision to be made here uh in terms of where this is going most likely because someone's really worried, like, I, I can't sleep, I can't eat, like, I'm just really worried about where this is going, like, it's, it, it's consuming me with the King of Cups. Someone's not happy to hear that because they're feeling rushed. However, I feel like this is kind of urging them to make a decision because they kind of have to hear the fork in the road. I don't know which side you're on, Capricorn, honestly, but uh, I'm just going to say it how it is, how I'm seeing it, and hopefully you can apply it if it resonates. 
Um, but there is an, a big need to make a decision here. And it is about leaving something behind and, and expanding. Whenever the two of wands comes in, it's planning, it's prepping, it's moving forward. As you can see, he has a world in his hand here. So it's, he's ready to expand on something here. But someone might feel like it's not the right time or they're not quite ready just yet. Let's clarify the King of Cups. Yeah, the, the, someone's waiting. Someone feels like it's not the right time. If they make any moves right now, they're worried that they can't fulfill their promises or that they can't, yeah. But someone, I will be honest with you, I feel like someone has commitment issues here. This this feels mainly to do with love, but again, if this is work or career, again, someone's saying, I'm not right now because if I commit to anything right now, whether it's a work project plan or whether it is a romantic relationship or anything else, I, I feel that like i won't be able to give the things that i'm promising or that you are worth or that you yeah or that this idea is worth you know or relationship but the thing is if you're on the queen of swords side i don't know who's who but the person on the queen of swords side is kind of like this we need to make a decision now because i'm sick and tired of feeling this way i can't i can't sleep like you're not understanding this is affecting me a lot this person is worried. They do, again, King of Cups is about emotions here. They do have emotions for you. They have feelings for you. They do have care for you. With Seven of Pentacles, they feel like they're just not quite ready just yet. They're waiting. Because I don't feel like this person feels quite worthy of anything commitment-based right now because they're still working on something. This person could be focused on their work or you, if you are the King of Cups here, focusing on their work. I feel like this, whatever this proposal is on the Queen of Swords side, is a big deal for them. And right now they're juggling a lot of things. Let's clarify again on their side. It's a wild card. Well, looky here, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the wild cards coming through. So this is a new beginning for them. Um, I feel like this is just new in general. Maybe the how they feel is very new or what they're doing is very new. And it, they again, it's imposter syndrome. They kind of feel like they... They aren't quite ready just yet. This is kind of coming from insecurities and running away from commitment and big things that they are worthy of and will turn out to be amazing, but they're just worried about it for some strange reason. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Swords side now. Eight of Pentacles. You're ready to move things up. Again, Five of Wands. There's a bit of conflict about this, and I feel like you've had this conversation quite a few times, and it just doesn't seem to go anywhere. The love is, again, the decision needs to be made. If this is in terms of love, then again, there is emotions there. But there's some very heated chemistry, a very heated connection between you if this is in love, because um, I feel like there is potential here, but we're in different pages, or there's some kind of distance involved, whether it's physical distance or, again, not being on the same page. Because this keeps going round and round. It's kind of stubborn energy on both sides. One person's wanting this now. The other person's wanting it a little bit later. Like, why can't we wait? I've got a lot of things going on right now. Again, I can't give you what you deserve right now. And with a Queen of Swords, someone's ready to cut this out then. If you're still not ready, then it's fine. I need to go because I can't stay stuck in this energy. Someone's work is being affected here. What a feeling, you know... Uh, I just feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is a good card though, by the way. The Queen of Swords is wanting to work on this. I want to make this work. I want to go from a seven to the eight. We can, we can do this. But I just need commitment or I need a promise or I need something. You know, I can't, I can't stay stuck in this Nine of Swords energy. Because someone's emotionally hurt here. Very hurt. Someone's a bit heartbroken here. Because they're second-guessing someone's intentions here and whether they even want to work on this. Again, whether it's a project or love. Some of you, it's mainly going to be love. Very specific message for some of you out there. Now, the wild card being on this side of someone who's trying to stop this from happening, I do believe that there is a compromise coming through for you, Capricorn. By the world, Ace of Pentacles. Now they're offering you something stable. And you're happy or someone's happy about it. Knight of Swords wanted to come through just then. Let's see why. Um, <laughs> because this could be, I kind of feel like, yeah, it's coming in very quickly, but I feel like it's the Queen of Cups now that's saying this. I feel like the Queen of Cups wants to express how they feel. Now you're on the same page though. Do you see this? Because I feel like if this is you, Capricorn, or whoever this is in the Queen of Swords energy, because of these thoughts, because of the fear of being hurt and feeling quite heartbroken with the Three of Swords that we had, 
someone's become very cold and very detached and it's like if you're not gonna do this then I, i'm not doing this either i'm not waiting anymore someone's really had enough because something's affecting their life in general now because some uh, something's been stag like stagnant but now the queen of swords seems to soften up here she's still hurt but now she's being more open about how she feels he she whoever whoever's in this queen of swords energy okay yeah, big heart on this person's side. If this is, I kind of get for some of you, this is you. But it depends who. But now, well, kind of Ace of Pentacles, great. Okay, you get what you're asking for then. Someone's like, okay, I can give this to you then. If some of you, again, this could be some kind of help of some sort. But I will say in terms of love, this is a solid relationship. Because you're wanting something that is long-lasting. Something that is committed. Something that is... Um, like uh, something that we can work on you're not asking for perfection you, you're not asking for that maybe this is where someone's like but i kind of want things to be right and you're like it doesn't matter we'll work on it do you know what you mean <laughs> a very specific message out there for some of you i apologize but this is just okay now someone's going all right let's see what we can do this is something that's going to be worked on but because there's such a strong connection i do believe that there is kind of uh, euphoria and then kind of like <laughs> complete chaos sometimes between the two of you there's a lot of passion a lot of chemistry but someone's now ready to offer something more committed all right the knight of swords let's clarify why that's there i feel like this is just openness though yeah six of six of cups now someone's being more open about how they feel in hopes that this can actually kind of yeah work out Six of Cups. Again, very strong connection coming through between the both of you. Someone is also speaking about the past, too, in hopes that they can clear some sort of confusion because someone's been worried about something. And someone's been avoiding that conversation. Because, again, I feel like they have some insecurities about not being perfect here. And they're worried about that. Uh, but again, you're not asking for perfection. And I think this is where they're now ready to offer you something. So the fork in a road, this will be cleared up. Four of uh, ones, you might find yourself in a relationship now with this person. Things elevating. This is just about success, okay? Which is good. And celebration of some kind. We have the Ten of Cups. Nice. And the Queen of Cups back there again. So this is good. This is about wish fulfillment. Yes, this is about um, happiness after difficulty, which is great. You know, the rainbow is always there when the sun shines after the rain. So we kind of need the rain to fill this kind of way. And I feel like this relationship may have not started off on the best foot here, on the right foot, sorry. But I feel like this is kind of making this stronger because you've, you've both stuck with each other despite the difficulties, despite the chaos, despite the need to compromise something here. And again, now you're meeting on the same page. I feel like if you're on this side, you, you kind of became quite cold and detached because you don't want to get hurt by somebody here or manipulated. Or I think you, you kind of assumed the worst here with the Page of Swords, if this is on your side or someone assumed the worst here. Uh, and kind of, you know, started to second guess someone's true intentions because someone was delaying something for far too long. It became suspicious. But the thing is, I don't think it was really. I think this person, again, is there in insecurities, wanted to come through with a very solid offer. Which, they're now, which they are now giving, which is good. This is a long-term relationship, which is good. All right. Anything else for Capricorn? Ace of Wands, movement, passion. Again, a lot of sexual chemistry coming through um, as well whenever the Ace of Wands comes in for relationships, but it's also a new passionate beginning between you and someone else. With truth, we have a lot of aces coming in now. This is a very divine relationship, which you felt like it was. But because it kind of was a bit unstable in the beginning, you kind of second-guessed it again. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, this is good. This is clarifying the Ace of Wands, which is blessed, okay? Some really good movements, okay, coming through for you in this dynamic, in this project, in terms of career. Expect either a new opportunity promotion of some kind of relocation that's going to offer you something much greater um but it's a newfound passion newfound purpose and i feel like this situation again was affecting if this is you on the queen of swords side your life because again you can't sleep can't eat i'm worried i keep panicking you're healing from that now which is good and now a new beginning is happening here that's giving you that motivation back and passion and a good boost in your step you know all right, let's pull you out some love cards and see what's coming out for you here as well. 
The Capricorn, please. There we go. So look at this, the runner. This is the other person. And as I said to you, someone doesn't feel quite good enough. And this is why they run away because they're, they are insecure deep down, which you wouldn't guess. So <laughs> they look kind of, kind of perfect on the outside, but I feel like they suffer a lot on the inside. I don't know why. Unstable backgrounds, you know, stuff like this. So endings bring new beginnings. And I feel like someone did threaten to leave here, most likely the Queen of Swords. They're like, I need to know how you feel and I need this to be solid because right now it's causing my head to be, you know, I'm in pain again, headaches again. Like, I feel like it really affected your health a bit here. I don't know, did someone slap you on the cheek? I, for some reason, I felt like a pressure on my my left cheek here. <laughs> I don't know who was that. Did you slap them? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I hope not. We don't condone that. Something, I don't know. Or something, someone's tooth, maybe you had some numbing treatment on your left side. I don't know. It was just coming up there. Strange sensation. Okay, let's see. So I believe this is a new beginning starting out between you, you guys. Girl talk here. Time with friends, moving on, living in the moment and having fun. Okay, I like that. And let's see with this. These angel cards. We have soulmate. Well, here we go. I had a feeling it was a love reading. <laughs> this is definitely, or it could be a friend, you know. Soulmates doesn't have to be romantic. We have signs here. All right, so paying attention to the signs. And we also have nature, which could be signs in nature. And as you can see here, you kind of felt like this is a soulmate because there has been a lot of signs around you by spirit to show you that it was. Whether it's how you met was very divine or again, the kind of, the, whenever you're around them, things happen, you know. Getting out into nature is going to be very important for you, by the way, uh, to kind of calm your nerves here or to calm out any anxieties or worries. Like it's very grounding. I think it's important for you, but this will work itself out, okay? But I think you need to be very honest about something here. Um... Because someone is going to give you what it is that you need. And it's this new beginning that's more stable and more solid. Okay? Okay, my angels. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week.